mission at TKS is to develop young people to solve the world's most important problems, specifically using emerging technologies and sciences. So at TKS, we fundamentally believe that there's not enough smart people in the world tackling important problems. Imagine if we could create another Elon Musk. What would the future look like? So the reason why we focus on young people is because this is the period in time where they're trying to figure out what they want to do in life. Right? Before university, you really have to figure out what are you interested in? What areas might you be passionate about? And I think one of the problems that we fundamentally see is too many young people make decisions on their university and career path without enough information. So what if we can expose them to what's happening in the world to help them find you know, what's that spark? What is that area of interest that now they can think about what they want to pursue in the long term with more information? and just be smarter about it. So I think the school system is extremely important. It is the backbone of society. The issue is that it hasn't changed as rapidly as any other industry in the world. When you look at transportation, when you look at energy, when you look at any of these fundamental industries, they have all completely changed in the last hundred years. Whereas when you look at a classroom or you look at just the way we think about education, it has not changed. And I think that is something that we really need to think hard about and say, okay, now that Google exists, like literally typing in a question and getting the answer, we don't need to remember information, we don't need to read books anymore. I mean, we do need to read books, but we don't need to like say, how does the eye work? And then we get a textbook and figure it out, we can just ask Google. Now that we have these fundamental technologies and advancements, what does learning look like? Right Now that the world's completely different, now that we have all these new technologies at our fingertips, how should we train young people to achieve success, to solve big problems in this world? Not in the world that existed 100 years ago. In the world where we can say, hey Siri, what's the weather? In a world where we can say, hey Siri, what is the derivative of 2 to the power of 3 log 4 e squared? Right? Like that, that is the world we live in. Right? In a world where we can just go on Khan Academy and understand all of the physics curriculum at whatever age you're at. You don't need to be in grade 12 now, you could be in grade 8. And it's really just driven by curiosity and passion. And so because we live in this world, we need to really think about how do we educate people today. So people, schools, parents really resonate with what we're trying to do with TKS. And I think it's because we're not trying to replace anything. We're just trying to fill in gaps right now. There's a big gap between what's being taught in the school system and all the new exponential technologies that are happening today. And we know that um, it's really tough to change the curriculum or add in new things. And so we really see ourselves as a complementary source of education for those people who are very driven and ambitious about creating the future. And so that is the fundamental gap that we're filling. And I think that people really see the value in that. So I think something that we really underestimate young people for is when you take passion and you pair it with potential. So when you find these young people that have extremely high potential and you help them discover what they're passionate about or really what sets them on fire, you see this exponential growth Right? You see them tackling problems that most people, whether they're 30 or 40 years old with PhDs or master's degrees, aren't even doing. And I think that's really exciting. We lose our curiosity and drive the more we age. And I think it's really important to understand that when we are at our max curiosity level and our max hunger level when we're younger, we need to take full advantage of that. Right? When you're that 13 year old kid that wants to go to Mars, we should fuel that kid to go to Mars rather than saying, oh, you know, wait 10 or 15 years first, get your PhD in you know, rocket science and physics and whatever, and then you can think about going to Mars. I think it should be the opposite way around. I think we should say, okay, you want to go to Mars, let's figure out your path so that you can help us get there. I'm a huge fan of what engineering.com is doing, just connecting people, ideas across the world to solve important problems just like what we're doing. And that's why I think the alignment is so strong and why I love you know, Lauren from engineering.com and Frank, the CEO, just amazing people that are building this organism to help completely shift and, and rethink how we live in the world through an engineering lens.